up. Shit. Where you running off to, Carl? I thought we were friends. Yeah, whatever. As an officer in charge of putting an end to gang violence, I find myself in a difficult moral position, Carl. Yeah, right. Carl, I'm hurt. I truly am. And just as I was about to help those poor Grove Street boys. Oh, yeah? How? I like the status quo, Carl. I like having all you bastards doing my job for me, blowing each other's guts all over the side. Dumb bastards. Now, if it's brought to my attention that one tribe gets an unfair advantage over another, that truly troubles me, Carl. So what you saying, man? I'm saying the ballers have brains, Carl. They watch the news. I'm saying they're making friends, cutting deals, and tooling up for more than half-assed drive-bys. Lots of cheap guns coming into America since the fall of the wall, Carl. Man, cut that bullshit, Tim Penny. Just say what you mean, man. Go check out a busy freight warehouse down the Docklands, and you'll see what I mean, Carl. Yeah, okay. Y'all take care now. For sure. Hi everyone and welcome to part 38 of my GTA San Andreas 100% walkthrough. Now, a very interesting point to mention. This mission contains a vehicle conversion trick where you can convert any vehicle, and I mean any vehicle, any bike, any car, any truck, any plane, any vehicle can be converted into fireproof explosion proof form. Check the video response for more details. And also in the um, special vehicle guide, I also mention how to get rare vehicles from the Vigilante mission, which you can also use to transform into fireproof explosion proof form. So I'll give you an example. Something like the um, Turismo you cannot find in Los Santos at this stage of the game. So the only way to get one is to either get to the other islands or spawn one from the Vigilante mission. And then you can use this mission to convert it into fireproof explosion proof form. Anyway. Check the video for more information. I'm sure some of you aren't that interested, so I'll stop babbling on about it. Now what we have to do is we have to take down this Russian tycoon. It's so random. Anyway, let's get to the docks, find out what happens. Go to the red marker. Prepare for some little action. Hey, who the fuck are you? I'm CJ, who the fuck are you? Yeah, just finish off all these guys, they're not exactly strong, they've just got pistols. And there's a guy who thinks he can run you over on a forklift, it's pretty funny. And he can't even reach you when you're up the stairs. It's hilarious actually trying to see him try and run you over when you're on the stairs. So you shoot the lock, just like I'm robbing Uncle Sam and just finish off the guys inside the warehouse. There is some health, don't worry if you are running low on health, there is some health and armor coming up in a minute. We'll find some health just behind here, as you can see, hang on. Just thought I'd deal with those guys first. Some health there. Yeah, I guess this is the biggest shootout mission after just business from Big Smoke. It's always good to get your weapon skill increased because then your guns get more accurate and stuff. It's pretty cool. And there's some armor in this room here. Stop! Please do business! Fuck you, Amerikanski! I'm gone! Doing business in America is dangerous. You can quite easily kill him before he gets into his explosion proof banshee. Yes, his banshee is explosion proof, but there's no point obtaining it because you can always get vehicles in fireproof explosion proof form anyway. That's it for the mission, guys. Definitely pick up the cash because there's a lot of cash he drops. <laughs> 